Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, which of the following statement is true for the exponential function f of x equals 10 parentheses 1.12 to the x power? And then we have some uh, statements, right? So what is it that I'm looking for? Well, it says for me to find a true statement, right? Very good. And they're giving us a function, which is right here. Okay, so what about if we write down the function again? So I'm going to write down f of x equals 10 parentheses 1.12 to the x power. Okay, so let's, uh, let's analyze each one of the statements. Uh, first statement, it says the function passes through the point 3 and 33.6. So this is my x value and this is my y value. So one of the easiest things to do is, of course, replace x with a 3. So I'm going to find f of 3, which means that my x will be re replaced with a 3. Okay, so let's work it out. So we have f of 3 equals 10 times, and of course you need to raise 1.12 to the third power, right? If you have a calculator, feel free to use it. We have 1.40 or 1.4, right? Then f of 3, if you multiply 10 times 1.4, I will get 14, an approximation of 14.05. If I uh, multiply straight on the calculator, right? So what does that mean? Well, it means that when x is 3, isn't that what it means? Because I replace x, look. I replace x with a 3, okay? So this means that when x is 3, my y value will be 14.05. Is that what number 1 says? No, right? Statement 1, it doesn't say that. It says that it's 33.6. So therefore, let number 1 cannot be one of my true statements, right? What about the second one? It says the coordinates of the y-intercept is 0 and 10. If you want to, we can work it out. I was hoping that you can tell me right away, yes or no. But if you don't know why we can skip all of this, let's work it out. So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to replace x with a 0. Right? What happens when you raise anything to the 0 power? We get a 1 regardless, right? So f of 0 is going to be 10. So I don't know if you uh, look at this, but this 10, which is a, is actually the y-intercept, right? So in a way, thinking, miss, you mean I could have skipped all of that stuff? Yes, but you need to make sure that you know the concepts for that, right? So a is my y-intercept. And my second uh, statement, then it's correct. So this one, it's true. Okay, what about the third one it says the coordinates of the x-intercept is 1.12 comma 0. So what can you do here? You can do exactly what we just did right now, right? There's another way to do it, but we can do th this one. I think this is the easiest and we have already done it like this. X, it's going to be replaced with what number? 1.12 okay so i am gonna replace my x with a 1.12 we're gonna work it out and if you have 1.12 raised to the 1.12 power what do we get we get 1.14 very good and if you multiply 10 times 1.14, we get, okay, what do we get? We get an approximation, right, of 11.40. And is that what it has over here, guys? No, right, because look, I got an answer of when x is 1.12, we got 11.40. And that's not what it says, so that cannot be my answer either. Okay, what about the last one? It says the asymptote is y equals to zero. Now, 
how do I know what my asymptote? For that, I would recommend you to graph it, but we can also follow the statement, guys. Remember that there's no plus or minus, okay? My uh, exponential function, it's just this one. Let me write it down for you. Okay? Now, anytime that we have something like this, you guys will notice that it means that my asymptote is getting closer or it's uh, approaching zero all the time. Unless I had a plus or a minus number here, then it would be different, right? So what is the answer for this one, guys, then? Because now I know that my last statement is also true, right? So I'm looking for two and four, right? So this is two and four. Therefore, my answer, it is letter C. Very 